Hello everybody, Ace here, and welcome to another episode of my Let's Play of the Complete Yogg's Cast Pack. Uh, off camera, I did just a couple of little things. The first thing was that I cooked up some stuff in here which got me some Vintium dust. The next thing is I added some mana foci, or mana focuses, I believe foci is the plural, uh, into this machine here. And what they do, they're a pretty simple recipe, uh, just a standard focus with two Vintium, and a standard focus is a lesser focus, blah, etc. And what they do is they reduce the amount of mana this machine uses when it's operating. So that is allowing it to repair these boots while draining less mana away from my little setup I have over here. Which still has not very much mana, but this one has plenty, so it's kind of worked out alright. Um, the next thing, like I said, I would do off camera is I would come over here and I would place some barrels. So you can see they are now full and as soon as I put this water here all these mushrooms started growing. So that is a brilliant way to farm mushrooms for mushroom stew. Didn't even realize it existed. So we'll come over here. I'm gonna open up this end as well. That's kind of annoying. And whoop. This is the next thing that I'm gonna do. Now <clears throat> what I did make off camera um, with some runes. Um, rune? Yep, okay, so you make a blank rune as I've shown before, which is cobblestone, and then just a piece of dye makes each of the coloured runes. Uh, the next thing I had to make was some wool. In this particular case it was light blue wool. And so, no, not wooler. It was light blue wool. And so I made that by just sticking a stack of wool together Oh, I wish I had known that. I was colouring them individually. Okay, well, I made a lot of light blue dye that I probably didn't need to make. There's probably some left over here. Then again, maybe not. But either way, I took most of my wool and I dyed it. And that got me uh, 18 pieces of light blue wool. I had to actually use some bone mill to bleach some of the wool because of my rainbow shears, all the wool comes out. The other thing I did is I got some bacon and that's actually what I was cooking up in this and that is just again just a bucket of force that you put down and then you use your four shears to shear your pigs and I thought that was cool because bacon man what, what more do I need to say so what I'm gonna make this time though is at mod.oz I'm going to make mage hood, mage robes, mage leggings, and mage boots. And basically these are almost equivalent to iron armor, a, probably a little bit less, but what they do do is they give you some bonuses to your magic spells effectiveness, so like damage, and they also give you some bonuses to your mana regeneration. So you can see I need a purple rune, wood, leather, and a water bottle, and then each one of them has something that I need, and I've got everything I should need uh, in here. So that should be everything that I need. We will check though. So we wanted leather at the top. And I believe I've forgotten the recipe. It's okay. Recipe, show me. We need that purple rune I made. And we need the water bottle. Try again. Water bottle. Purple rune four pieces mage hood now not only is it cool it kinda has a cool little look to it so now we want a chest place chest plate let's try plate plate sounds better than place now we need that look like white runes to me Zoop. there we go and the next thing we want is it says leggings it looks like a skirt uh, I think it is kind of kilt-like. So we've got that, and now we need some boots of goodness. Ruin that up. I have lots of ink sacks, so that was never going to be a problem for me. And boots. So now I can throw on all of this, and you can see I have almost as much armor as you would typically get. 
but this armor also has a cool effect. What I did off camera is I added these little gates here so I can except for the fact that he was right outside brilliant his friend must have let him in so you can see once I once I totally kill him my mana is res restoring itself a little bit faster but also the damage that my armor took is also subtracted from my mana and it repairs itself so I don't have to worry about basically using this system over here to sap up all the power out of my nexus to repair things so I'm going to take this armor you can see I did do quite a lot of repairing in it because it was the most damaged but you can see that that works and also I'm going to stand in here because that will give me a oh there's no sun Ha! Huh. when there's sun that would give me a mana regen buff yeah no sun at the moment so clearly that's not what I'm looking for here so I'm going to go upstairs. Hey guys. Oops. <clears throat> okay, so I have run out. So now, when you run out, you go. Boom. Gives you 100 mana back. That was not as good as I thought it was. Ha, better. So you can see now it says one use remaining. I definitely should have upgraded those. You can also see that on, well not on average, but occasionally my shots do three damage now instead of two. And that is the slight buff that you get from the, I guess wearing the armor. What I really need though is an area of effect. But this is basically the best way to, to boost your experience. You get like one experience point per shot that hits. So if I just keep spamming, other than being a little bit noisy, it does a pretty good job of just building up your experience. And you know you can sit here, wait, let it repair a little bit. Again, the current one costs 22 and a half, so I just boom. Shoot the baby zombie. Shoot the baby zombie. Oh, no mana. Okay. You get the idea. You can see that I've, I've bumped myself up a level and I've got a little bit further. Oh, oh, oh. But there are a lot of zombies out there. So. And they are going to keep knocking me backwards, but that's okay. This is why, for me anyway... Oh, can I die? Not cool. Yeah, this is why, probably for me, uh, magic isn't going to short-term replace a sword. But I do like the fact that that gate was self-closing. So that was a good thing. So, now that we have gone and done all of those good things, no wonder I'm not healing. Hungry. There we go. And my mana's really low. All in all, that didn't go brilliantly. But we got lots of zombie flesh. Bunch of new armor. A new sword. You know, lots of good things. I'm just going to throw you glass bottles in there. That was not intentional. What have I got now? String. <clears throat> Couple of blocks. Heads count as a drop. Oh, we've got a bunch of heads now for zombies. Some wood planks. Lots of food. And now we are ready to go with the next task, which was to make soul sand. So I'll just show you how easy this was to do. 
Also found out those elevator blocks work about... Sorry, those elevator yeah, blocks work for about 20 blocks. So if you wanted to go all the way from sea level to bedrock, uh, you'd be looking at probably needing about a three-stage elevator, which is cool because like you saw with mine, you can just stack them. I feel like I dropped a couple, yep. And now we just would, well, have to get my bucket back out. And I've got it set up so I just like stand here and go click, click, click. And I can fill it all back up nice and quick. Hmm. Not sure what just happened then. That was really weird. And it wasn't even associated with a lag spike. Although I had a bunch of them when the zombies were fighting me. I think it was just like there was too much sound happening all at once. But <clears throat> there are some occasional physics glitches that happen in Minecraft. I think everyone's aware of that. So it's not entirely surprising that it forgot to do a tick update on the water. Although I can promise you it will never forget to do a tick update on the lava and have a lava source block not flow. I promise you. So you can see how quickly this has worked. It has basically made it into soul sand before I finish getting all the way around. That. There we go. Now it's updating properly. So you can see you can basically create as much soul sand as you need. Um, either if you can find a mycelium biome or if you just want to you know forage for ancient spores, I guess you'd call it. I don't really know what you'd call it. I guess sifting is probably a more correct term. And all it takes is a lot of sand. And sand is pretty easy to get. There are a lot of mods that help you to make sand. Um, the other thing is, and I would like to apologise for all of those, all of you, uh, who know about bees. Um, unfortunately for me, I know nothing about bees. So, it was pointed out to me that I have a pristine Valiant Princess, and I previously had one as well, and then I had a Valiant Drone, and I might have messed things up a little bit by doing things the way that I did them here. So my aim now is to not uh, touch this one here any further until I know what I'm doing with it, because apparently those things are quite good and just a little bit rare. And so yeah, I don't want to... Oh, another Valiant Drone. I'm going to... Can I put you... I'm going to take you all the way. Because you are useful to me. Also, I've been told. And I don't want to mess you up. Apparently, I need to make some really fancy, like, beekeeping equipment. And do some other cool things. Um, the other thing that it was pointed out to me, and this is all courtesy of the good and helpful Pyro, who um, really helps to point out when I'm doing things in a way that's a bit silly. Um, pointed out to me that, yes, they do grow a little bit faster at the top, but while they grow a bit faster, you also tend to lose more by doing it the way that I have it than you actually get from the fact that you're making them grow a little bit faster. So it's kind of a, a no-win situation overall. So, I'm going to fill that in like this now. And this setup should help me to get cactus grow much faster. Ow. I hate ow. And I think, in fact, I've got enough sand and cactus that I can do just a little bit more. Uh, I'm also thinking of doing like some kind of auto pop-off system and a vacuum hopper. But then again, I don't really have a lot of use for cactus. I don't need it for waterproof piping. So I'm not entirely sure what I would use it for. Like it fit there though. So now we're going to come to the end here. And this is my kind of... It's become my forestry chest. So I will stick all of that in there. And I promise I won't touch it again until someone can help me work out what I'm doing. You are dirt, so you go in the dirt chest. 
Okay, so I have my awesome suit of mage armor. What I need now is a better spell. And I think I just went up a level, so hopefully that should have given me a skill point. It has, it's given me a blue skill point. So I can either now learn frost damage or fire damage. Now frost is over this way. I'm already mostly in this direction and this direction, so I'm going to go for fire damage. I'm going to hope that that works out for me. So, fire damage. So now let's do what is necessary to create a spell. Um, and then I need a, a book and an ink sack and some stuff like that. Um, so we need feather, leather, three paper, ink sack and what I oh that's not how you do this ha huh, gotta make a book first let me take that and that and that so we'll quickly throw this together so we want projectile and what I want to try and do is I want to do physical damage and fire damage on the same projectile and magic damage so hopefully oh, gotta put a book in, haha -ha. so hopefully now this will do all of those things but you can see it requires a lot of recipes and it has a real mix of different things so I'm gonna um, now off camera go and gather all those ingredients and I will see you guys back here soon. Bye. Okay guys, and I'm back, and I have the spell sitting here in the lectern, and I'm now ready, hopefully, this should be all the stuff that I need. So, excuse me, let's kick this off by throwing a blank rune in. Now we need some Vintium Dust. One of those, an arrow, one of those, a snowball, one of those, that looks like a red rune, I think. Let's throw one of those and see what comes up next. Is that an iron sword, I think? Good start, looks like another red rune. Flint and steel. Another vintium dust, whoop. Did not need two of them, so we'll get that one back. And a purple rune. And a lapis. And a book and a stone sword and a parchment where did I, ah, see it's always something and it turns out I made that uh, blue rune for no reason at all whatever I have a lot of snowballs so those are just taking up space so here we have the spell so let's name this thing um, I'm going to make it, it's not an area of effect spell, so I'm going to reserve that for an area effect. I'm going to go for this one, and I'm going to call it Power Bolt. Perfect. So now, uses 135 mana per shot. This thing, oh, also while I was waiting off camera, um, I moved pretty much my entire farm from over there to over here. So what I've got is lots of wheat planted, all of my essence seeds, uh, these two rows here are carrots, these two rows here are potatoes, and then yeah, the rest of this is just all crop, uh, all wheat. Um, I harvested all the mushrooms over here too, and they don't seem to be growing back. So I might have to place a couple down just to get them to grow. But what I want to do before anything else, so I want to cast this spell. I want to see just what kind of BAM! This puts into things. So let's head over here and get ourselves a spider. Come on. Are you spawning or what? <coughs> 
Come on. Spin, 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 spawn a spider. Perfect. Um. That wasn't bad. Um. Ah, so you can see my armor is all damaged. So my mana is not actually regenerating at the moment because all of my extra mana was taken up repairing these. Now that these are repaired, you can see that everything is back to full. Um, so that did a bit more damage. Now hopefully I can stand in here and get some mana regen. Yes, got mana regen. Now it turns out the amount of mana in here determines exactly how much like regen that you get. But that was a pretty cool um, spell. So let's shift right click. Let's throw that in there. We'll take four spot down to the end. <clears throat> this power bolt definitely uses a lot of power. But hopefully it should be a good thing. Um, got a bunch of cactus grown here. So let's just come through. Definitely hurting myself, which stinks. I think I'm going to have to go for the whole vacuum hopper thing above that. Because it's not working that brilliantly. Um, I think I also need to do a whole lot more killing of things because I need my mana level to go up. So, becoming night time. So, I've only got 300 mana, so this isn't going to be brilliant. If I just kind of stand here, it's regenerating fast enough to repair all these. There you go. Now it's going up quite quickly because they're all repaired. But again, there's still going to be some limitations on how good I am with the spell. I think things should go a little bit better um, once I actually start zapping things with it. Zombie with a funky hat. Okay. Don't want to miss. Come, come towards me. Perfect. Definitely does more damage than the last one. But being that it uses 100 mana, it does kind of drain it away from me pretty quickly. So this is where maybe... So that uses a fraction of the mana and still does... It does half as much damage for a fifth as much mana, so it's definitely a better overall effect, but this is a lot more powerful. So I guess we'll just have to see how that goes. But I'm thinking now that I have, I guess, these different couple of things, I want to now get my, uh, my Tomonomicon. I don't actually know what it's called. Must be downstairs. Must be in here. Okay. In my bag. Ha, see? You can always find things when you look for them. Arcane Compendium. We want structures. We want this time a dark nexus. So it needs sunstone or chimerite blocks. Okay, so we are looking for f a bunch of nether brick. So I'm sure I've got that. Yes, we do. And then we need some chimerite blocks. Thankfully, I have heaps of that stuff. 
And I haven't even really been looking for it. I'll be honest with you, I actually thought I had a lot more than that. And now we need, at mod.rs, we need some red chalk. So arcane ash, red clay, flint paper. <clears throat> it's got, got flint, clay, none of these are paper. Maybe I put it, did I put it over here? Yes, I did. So, red dye, arcane ash, clay flint paper. Um, arcane ash. So I am using words and I am listening to them. Arcane ash, clay flint paper, red dye, one by red chalk. Now, I don't entirely know how this is going to go for me. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this just outside. Ha. Got to get inside, got to get inside, got to get inside. Yes, turns out when you kill a baby Enderman, you seriously piss off big Enderman. <clears throat> okay. Uh, have an alternate plan. One, two, three, four. Yes, what I'm going to do is something I'm not convinced how well it's going to work for me. I'm going to put it in line with this one and I'm going to start it here. So we're going to go one, two, one, two, and then I need three blocks, one, two, three, and then it needs to go just here. So what I'm going to do so I did kind of know that was coming. So then we want the shimmerite block just there. Mana regen me please, thank you. Now I'm hoping that this light nexus and this dark nexus being near each other. Oh no. Okay. Clearly I didn't think that through that well. So, shimmerite block there. Now we need some light, because we, we don't want this to make bad things spawn. Now if I place some red chalk there, perfect. Now the... I guess the what I'm going for here... Yeah, that used up that whole red chalk. Um, This is kind of what I'm going for here. There's a little bit of a walled off thing. Um, <clears throat> to basically stop things from getting through and messing with me. Turns out I can place it inside and it doesn't seem to affect it. So that's brilliant. All I need to do now... Um, So if I can get my Magitech staff out... Ah, huh, ha, huh, it's not even in there. This thing should now tell me... 3300 Dark Essence. 
So I don't think it's totally being affected. What I do need um, is a way of making myself just a fraction safer. Not that I think it's going to go badly, but just in case it does, my mana definitely regenerates way too slow. So we will now knock that out. Put that there. A little bit of a Heaps of power in there. <clears throat> and here this thing is still, still seems to be working just fine, so clearly one's not affecting the other. You gonna come and play? Wanna come play too? Come on. Okay, Mr. Spider. Come on. I like this new toy. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this dark power now that I have it. Come on. I'm talking to you. Mm, oh, we actually did explode. Oh, what a bummer. Come on, so close. <clears throat> he knew that was coming. Let's see if we can get this guy's attention. Hello? Come on, come get me. See, he doesn't get damaged by the sun, so he should chase me the whole way. While he's doing that, I'm gonna shoot him in the face. Ow ha. You coming? Come on. If they have any kind of flying creature, I'm hoping that this will catch it. Ah. See? Skelly shoot, I don't like that. And he has, look at that, we currently have 18,000 essence in there. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. Come on. Ow, in the butt. Wish there was some kind of healing block I could use. Either way, <clears throat> I think this is going to have to be the end of this episode. Because I'm pretty sure if I click on this thing, it will say that it's got 16,000 essence in it. And it's showing like a neutral colour for the essence. So I'm wondering what will happen. And this could make things go a little bit crazy if I do this. But what will happen if I go... You... Power... This... To power... This. Whoa! Okay, that just filled up with deficit. 
and this basically reset itself back to zero. Um, but I've clearly got a lot of power left in here, and it's so easy to fill up. I need some charge focuses. Because they help stop this thing building up deficit as well. So I've got creature focus, player focus, monster focus. And this is going to be the absolute last thing I do this episode, because I'm already way over time for what I wanted again. Player, monster, item, creature. Uh, F-O-C-U-S. Creature, item, monster. Yeah, it was definitely a charge focus. Okay. <clears throat> So I'm going to make three charge focuses and then come back. Just have to bear with me for a second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I've placed the three charge foci in now and you can see that on average the deficit is actually going down now. So what that means is the amount of power that's flowing through it on average is actually not producing. See, it's gone blue now. That's because the de detected deficit is basically as low as it can get thanks to this plus those three focuses, or foci. And you can see they were just two glass on top of this one, which is four redstone on top of this one, which is four gold nuggets. So this will now basically take right up until it gets to the 16,000 mark from this thing. Because that's all the power that it had. And I will see if I can't spawn another mob somewhere. Nope. What I might be able to do though um, is I don't know whether this will work or not I might be able to I think I can pick up that cave spider spawner from over there and move it closer and if I can um, that might have the effect of allowing me to just spawn creatures in and as soon as they spawn have them die um, but that is most definitely going to be a job for later because right now we are out of time uh, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the episode. Uh, stay tuned for the next one where I am going to... Hmm. What am I going to do? Um, I think it might be time to play with some keystones, I think. <clears throat> I think that might be the time... Yeah, that might be the time and the place and the thing to do. And that will allow me to create a portal to another special location. No, first of all, sprinklers, then magical crops next episode. Sprinkles plus magical crops. Um, so until then, thanks very much for watching. A Stocky out.